war's over, everybody lost. No! Justice League The Flashpoint Paradox is based off of the comic book Flashpoint, which I did read a long time ago and was really awesome. However, this uh, animated movie is damn awesome. I watched it last night. The first time I watched it was when it was released in 2013, and I really enjoyed it then. But upon another watching, I really, really enjoy it. Uh, it has a fantastic pace, and it just has so many cool fight scenes. It has quite a gnarly cast. There's Nathan Fillion, Ron Perlman, Kevin Conroy, Michael B. Jordan, among many others, which is really, really cool. And just having all those voice actors there and all of the many characters crammed in from everybody's respective area like Aquaman and Wonder Woman, Superman, although Superman is not really in it very much. Um, <clears throat> but the general overview of the Flashpoint Paradox animated film is that the Flash unknowingly... Um, because it's kind of vague, really. It, 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 there seemed to be a scene missing towards the beginning of the film. The film opens up with an amazing Justice League segment where the Flash is taking on some of his rogue gallery and the Justice League rock up to disarm some bombs. And that was really, really cool. And then it goes from... Uh, uh, from Barry Allen waking up and then finding that the world he's in is different and he has no superpowers and there are no other metahumans around besides um, Aquaman and Wonder Woman uh, on the verge of absolute Armageddon. Um, basically going to be wiping out the human race between a war of themselves. Uh, the Amazonians have taken over the United Kingdom, my, my country, uh, calling it New Themyscira, and Aquaman is working on a super weapon uh, to be able to just wipe out everything anyway. You do find out why the war started and how it's going on, and it's a very brutal and grim future where Superman didn't land in the fields uh, outside of you know the Kent's farm, he lands in the middle of Metropolis. So gets taken by the government. Bruce Wayne is the person who gets killed instead of Thomas and Martha, causing Thomas Wayne to become Batman and a brutal Batman that wants to kill people. He uses handguns and he wants to kick the living crap. And not only that, but kill people, which is again really really gnarly um <laughs> there's a lot of death there's a lot of blood there's a lot of really cool stuff that happens in this film um cyborg really gets savaged unfortunately but apart from that i think the the animation art style is really really good the story was really well told the film comes in around about an hour and 20 minutes i think but it doesn't feel like it felt like a half hour episode i had such a great time watching it and this uh, this is the film that kicks off the DC uh, animated universe they they kind of created where 16 films. I don't know how that fits because uh, the voice actors and the animation style and everything else is different because the next film in the continuity of this universe is Justice League War, which I know is a, a prequel. Well, I don't know if it's a prequel, but it's, it's where the Justice League meet. Um, so I'm going to be watching that one next. So hopefully it clears it up. And then on through Son of Batman and, you know, all through the 16 in total. Then I'll be moving on to the Tomorrowverse. But let me know in the comments down below if you have checked out Justice League The Flashpoint Paradox. I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic film. Uh, it's a definite 10 out of 10 and well worth watching if you are a fan. But as always, thank you very much for watching. Well, he's older than I thought. But I'm not hard of hearing.